Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked me how they could cut these out at this 1 6. Well, it's all rotation of 360 degrees. 360 degrees divided by an eighth is 45 degrees. So I'm working in the center of the page, which I always do. So my line's going to be in the center. I'm going to hold down the control button and I'm actually going to go past my circle. Then I'm going to control D that circle and move the rotation in the center. We'll just check to see if it's there and it is. And then I can rotate it 45 degrees. Control D. Sometimes it'll do it. So the next one will be 90. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. Now my suggestion, if I was gonna cut these out, they might cut out just one line at a time, but you could always use a smart fill tool and you only have to do one and left click, right click, and I would cut them out individually. Then I would control D and make a duplicate and maybe mirror it and mirror it this way. So you won't waste so much wood and have a little space between it. I'm pretty sure since this is just one line, it's just going to cut one time, but it might not. So all you have to do and you know, to do the other ones is now we got, uh, let's do the fifth is 72 degrees. Control D and make a duplicate, move the rotation to the center and rotate it 72 degrees. Control D, Control D, Control D. Now, if you ever get to the case where it doesn't tell you or it won't Control D the second time, let's do it. See, I'm on the circle. Let's go 72 degrees. Let's say I didn't. I didn't make a duplicate and I didn't have the rotation in the center because I backed up. Control D, let's go that 72 degrees. Well, let's say it won't control D this time, which it did. Sometimes it doesn't. All you have to do is make a duplicate of that. And then just, if you don't, if you're not good at math real quick, plus 72 degrees more, and then it should finish the rotation. Now let's do one and then I'm gonna show them how to put the numbers on there. Now, if you're gonna cut this out in a single unit, I would not have it past it. So it won't mess up your, it won't really matter. It looks like you're cutting, you're gonna cut it out anyway. But let's do one that's a little bit more, let's do a one eighth, move it to the center, control D and rotate it 45 degrees, control D, control D, control D, control D, control D. Now, what I would do is control G and group it together and then rotate it halfway, 22.5 degrees. That way, this is dead center, okay? Now, if you want to write the eighth and they've actually written them over and under, which is fine. So we're going to go one, something wrong with my keyboard sometimes. We're going to go one and we'll actually do, I don't think we can get a good line. Sorry, my calculator is near my, let's try a line. No, it's going to be spaced out so hard, too far. So what I would do is go ahead and write the eighth and they don't have any abbreviations. Now you need to center justify it. So they'll be on top of each other. And if you do a bunch of these, you know, just take a two point line whoop, and start moving it, then hold down the control button and then make it the appropriate thickness. I always draw in a hairline. So let's make it, let's get this out of the way. That's good. Let's make it black. Now to get, I didn't hit okay. So let's make it double thick or whatever point we had. Can't see it. That's too thick. Let's go two. That's good. Let's make it black. So to get all this done, you have to hit OK. Now we could actually space these out perfectly. And the best way to go is go Windows, Dockers, Distribution, and go right here. Whoop, that didn't work. We back up. 
let's use maybe that's because that's these are text and not a curve. Oh, they're not broken apart. So go to object, break text apart. And now your line is equal. So if on the next one, let's go to the one six, just pick that one six, go up your text editor and change that eight to six and hit enter. That way you don't have to make, you know, if you made a duplicate, control G to group that together, control D to duplicate it. Now we're going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And then just slowly move it up, holding down the control button to about where you want it. Control D and make a duplicate. Rotate it to the center of the, the bar. Let's get off of it and make sure it's there. And then rotate it that 45 degrees. Control D. Now each one of them is equal. And so then you go back and you can change that to an eighth and put that right in there. But it'll really help you to rotate the whole thing where you're top dead center between the two pieces. So we, we rotated 45. Here we would rotate 60, you know, and just so on and so on. Just rotate it half the distance. That's a pretty good little kid's game. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank